All right, everyone, welcome back. A quick update for QNT here. So QNT here on the three day chart. Um, this thing did break to the upside out of this descending, uh, whatever you want to call this descending channel, falling wedge pattern, whatever you want to call this pattern here. It's been in this thing forever and it looks like it's finally breaking out. So from the high back here to the low, you can see right into the 382 resistance at 108. It is coming back down now, right at that 100 day EMA rejection. So if QNT can end up holding the top of this pattern here at 98 for support, and that is a three and a half percent drop here, then that will confirm that you have broken out of this pattern. And then there is a potential for this thing to finally start going up from this $100 range. So it could end up doing something like this so that is a possibility so what i would say is watch the 98 dollar range here all this support back here until we broke down to the bottom uh needs to hold for support once again so just watch that drop here if 98 holds then i would say uh that three percent drop then your first resistance of course would be again the 100 and that 108 price level at that 382 then you have your 0.5 at 117 for a 19 percent move and then we do have that 200 day EMA and the 618 here at 126 for about a 28% move. So we'll see. We'll see if support holds here and then we'll see if we can get through these resistance levels. And if for some reason you fall back down into this pattern and the $98 does not hold, then you're probably going to end up dropping all the way back down here to the bottom again and potentially even lower. You can see that is a 17, almost 18% drop down to 83 and then we do have a green support line down here at about 74, 75 bucks. And that would be about a 26% drop or so. So if you are going to not hold support here on, on QNT, you could end up doing something like this back down in the wedge pattern and then coming down here like this uh, and then going up at some point in the future. So that is a possibility also. So I would say watch 98 here. That really needs to hold as support. The momentum clearly is coming down at the moment. But the momentum is up according to the three day MACD here. You can see that it is curling up above that 50. So that is a good sign there that uh, you may get that bounce you're looking for. The Heikinashi candles here, uh, we can see they are still printing green. They have not rolled over to red yet. So, you know, and there's no, well, there is a shadow on this one. So until these roll over to red, um, you may get that bounce, like I said. You are red on the daily chart, by the way, but they're kind of indecisive, as you can see here. And you are above the 200 day EMA on the daily chart. So all signs to me are pointing to you're about to get a bounce here to the upside. So I'll just keeping it real simple on Q&T, just watch those support levels and we'll see if this thing can hold over the top of that pattern, get that confirmation, and then finally start moving higher here on Q&T. So with all that said, not financial advice. Good luck, everyone. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.